Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back. So, the whole idea behind that because you see this kind of error which appears and this is this has to do with grid and the solution procedure. So, what it does that one basic approach which is commonly known as is called the algebraic AMG which is algebraic multi grid method. So, that is what it stands for A M G algebraic multi grid method. Now, this process is purely algebraic that is why it is called the algebraic multi grid method and what it does is actually improves the convergence of your iterative solver. So, this improves the convergence of your iterative solver by ensuring that the resulting low frequency error that arises from the application of the of a smoother at any one grid level are transformed into higher frequency error at a coarser grid level. So, let me reiterate these things it only improves the convergence and what it does that what you achieve at the finer grid level this is the finer grid level one can see this is the fine nor medium and coarse. So, the low frequency oscillation that arises at the final grid level it is transformed to the high frequency oscillation at the coarser grid level and that is why it ensures. So, it is a hierarchical approach from finer medium to coarser and able to multi grid methods are able to overcome this convergence problem that you see when we go down to a finer grid level with a large system. So, this is how it used and also this multi grid method is quite robust and process is algebraic in sense. So, the way it is done through some agglomeration process. So, this can be used to build highly efficient and lower uh, robust linear solver. So, in either of this process a multi grid cycling procedure essentially is used to guide the traversal, uh, traversal of various grid hierarchies. So, this is final level grid, then the median level grid, then the coarser level grid. So, and it could be you can one can have another level of grid refinement if they want, but typically three layer of grid refinement works quite nicely for multi grid system. And how it is done? The traversal process, the traversal process it goes through different procedures of the process it involves a restriction procedure restriction procedure first then the setup or update of the system of equation for the course grid level ok. Then third is the application of a number of smoother iteration. So, you operate 
or do carry out some sort of an iteration to smooth out those issue. So, that is essentially the traversal process and this process is only happening when you go from this direction. That means, this is applicable, this guy, this process or the steps are applicable when you move from finer to coarser. Now, the reversal process which is uh, one can say it is a reversal process. So, there you need to do a prolongation procedure that is number 1, number 2 the correction of field value at the finer level. So, that is the correction of field value at the finer level and third the application of a number of smoother iteration on the equation constructed during restriction, constructed during restriction. Okay. So, what one has to do? This is the reversal process and this is applicable when you come down from this direction that means, coarser to finer. So, this is applicable C to F, this is C, this is M, this is F. So, one case you follow this step to go from this direction to that direction that means, you have a fine level of grid from here you move to the medium level, medium to coarser level. So, these are the process one has to follow and when you do the reversal that means, you get a solution at the coarser level now translate back to the final level. So, what it does if you one can think about by looking at this picture and the procedure is that you are getting a solution at different grid level. Maybe this F actually is your final grid level where you would like to obtain your solution, but then your iterative process will end up giving you some sort of an error convergence is low. So, in order to improve that you refine it to two different grid level get your iterative solver solved there reduce your error due to iterative solver translate back to the original level. Now, what one needs to do it is essentially one has to do some agglomeration. So, this is called agglomeration or coarsening of the grid. So, that means, this is my final level of grid F which stands for finer. So, I am doing the coarsening level. So, F to C. So, here if you can see all these cells I 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 they are merged to one particular cell from there to here. Then in between all these they move to that side this side they move to here. So, essentially 4 to 6 elements in the final grid levels are sort of merged and here you get 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you get an coarser level of grid. So, what essentially one needs to do is that first your coarsening is done. So, coarsening 
is initially done or carried out. That means, the from the finer grid level to the coarse grid level is generated. Then the fine level refinement is done. So, also one can use non nested grids which can be also used. So, but that case there is a problem that transferring or transferring information from one level to another level is quite expensive that is why this kind of process has some limitations. Then you can go to finest mesh and get your solution done and from there you do the coarsening and through this agglomeration process. But what happens is that these two coarsening process I mean this is a process where you can first do coarsening and then move to F or you can have non-estate grid where the information transfer is quite expensive. In both these two cases or the approaches they do not allow good resolution of complex domain. So, when you first essentially these two steps say that you can have first this coarser mesh and then you move to the finer mesh or you can have non-nested grid, but in that case the transfer between these uh, different level is quite expensive. In both these cases are not having very good resolution or accuracy of the solution when it goes to complex domain. But the other case the third approach where actually you first have a solution on the finer mesh and then you move to coarsening the process that means you first get a solution here which will have so many elements which solution must be quite accurate but then you do the coarsening through agglomeration process one level of coarsening two level of coarsening reduce all this error get a solution towards the convergence then you come back to get the final solution. So, and the course earning done is that I mean it is done inside the code through some sort of a fusing of the multiple elements. As I we have seen here multiple elements are kind of merged together to get one element here this 5 got here, this 5 got here, this 4 here. So, this is how the process is done and in that case and one more thing that any efficient agglomeration process. So, any efficient agglomeration process is the directional ag agglomerations is known as called directional agglomeration okay, which was initially developed by Marvelis. So, this is what it says. Now, one can see the restriction step restriction step and the course level coefficients. So, how one can obtain these things? So, where the important point here the solution starts at finer grid level. So, that is the important point. So, after performing few iteration the error is transferred or restricted to a coarser grid level and the solution is found at that level. Then after performing few iteration at that level the error is restricted again to a higher level and the sequence of events is repeated. So, solution starts at final level then you carry out some number of iteration move to the coarser level 
then carry out some level of iteration and then go back and forth. So, this is how this done. So, if one has to put mathematically, then one can write a k e k equals to r k, where k stands for some level which denotes some level. So, where and the actual system that we are doing is f e equals to b that is our standard system. Now, the next coarser level which is at k plus 1 and the error will be restricted. So, let us say g i represents the set of cells i on the finer grid level and that are agglomerated to form cell i of the coarser grid level at k plus 1. So, essentially these are set of cells at f level. So, f stands for fine, c stand for coarse immediate level. So, which are agglomerated to form a cell i at the coarser grid level, which is at k plus 1. Then one can write that a k plus 1 e k plus 1 is the residual k plus 1. Now, the residuals here on the right hand side which can be computed as r k plus 1 equals to i k k plus 1 r k. So, this guy this i k k plus 1 is essentially the restriction operator or the other way one can think about it is an interpolation matrix ok an interpolation matrix for from fine grid level to coarser grid level through agglomeration process agglomeration process. So, through that you do the transformation. Now, the AMG will solve for this residual and one can get R i at k plus 1 equals to summation of i belongs to g i r i k. Then now the coefficient of the coarse element are constructed by adding the appropriate coefficients of the constituting fine elements. Then if you recall the linear system that we are solving in the discretized system is a c phi c plus summation of f n b c a f phi f equals to b c. Now, we can write at different grid level this is our discretized equation, discretized equation. Now, we can write at different grid level one can write a i k phi i k plus j goes to n b i a i j k phi j k equals to b i k uh, and here n b i refers to the neighbor elements ok and then the residual can be computed and so the residual one can compute like r i k equals to b i k 
माइनस ए आई के फाई आई के प्लस समेसन ऑफ जे इक्वल्स टू एन बी आई ए आई जे के फाई जे के सो एट के लेवल वन कैलकुलेट दिस स्टेप नाउ फाई आई वेर फाई आई एट के प्लस वन लेवल डिनोट्स द सल्यूशन ऑन कोर्स मेस एलिमेंट आई सो देन वन कैन राइट फाई आई प्राम के इक्वल्स टू फाई आई के प्लस वन माइनस फाई आई के ना वॉट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दिस करेक्शन टू रेजल्ट मास्ट बी जिरो रेसिजुअल ओवर द कोर्स मेस एलिमेंट आई सो द न्यू रेसिजुअल्स वन कैन राइट एज एन आर आई टिल द के इक्वल्स टू बी आई के माइनस ए आई के फाई आई के प्लस फाई आई प्राइम के प्लस समेसन ऑफ जे इक्वल्स टू एन बी आई ए आई जे के मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाई जे के प्लस फाई जे प्राइम के और इक्वेलेंटली वन कैन राइट दिस वन आर आई टिल्डा के इक्वल्स टू बी आई के माइनस ए आई के फाई आई के प्लस जे इक्वल्स टू एन बी आई गोस टू ए आई जे के फाई जे के दिस इज वन कॉम्पोनेंट एंड द अदर कॉम्पोनेंट वन कैन राइट ए आई के फाई आई के प्लस जे गोस टू दिस ए आई जे के फाई जे प्राइम के सो यू टेक दिस आउट सो दिस इज नथिंग बट योर आर आई के सो वन कैन राइट दिस वन एज आर आई के माइनस ए आई के फाई आई प्राइम के प्लस समेसन ऑफ जे इक्वल्स टू एन बी आई ए आई जे के फाई प्राइम जे के सो दिस इज वॉट वन कैन गेट द रेसिजुअल इन दिस वे सो इफ यू पुट देम टूगेदर सो इफ यू एनफोर्स द रेसिजुअल सम आई टू बी जीरो देन समेसन ऑफ I belongs to G I, which is R I k equals to zero. So that enforcing the sum of the residuals zero. Now, if you substitute this one, this guy into here, then this essentially get you that this particular term, the R I. K summation over I belongs to G I minus summation of I belongs to G I A I K phi I prime K plus summation of I belongs to G I. समेसन ऑफ जे बिलोंग्स टू एन बी आई ए आई जे के फाई जे प्राइम के हुईच इज एसेंशियली जीरो सो जस्ट पुट दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन बैक टू दिस वन एंड यू गेट दिस वन जीरो सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट you can rewrite this equation and one can 
C if you rewrite that equation then one can write A i. So, these are how A i k plus 1 phi i prime k plus 1 plus summation of j n b i equals to a i j k plus 1 phi prime j k plus 1 equals to r i k plus 1. So, here what is that a i k plus 1 is nothing but i belongs to g i a i small k plus summation of i belongs to g i summation of small j belongs to g i a i j k a capital i j k plus 1 is i belongs to g i small j does not belongs to g i a i j k and j belongs to n b i and r i k plus 1 is nothing but i belongs to g i r i k. So, this one can see in the figure this is one element and this is what the smoothening is done. So, this goes from here then this is next level of these things and this goes to here this is the third level then you go back you get this back then you get this then you move back move back to the system. So, one hand you come down this way then you go back in this way. So, that is how you get the solution for this system. Now, the other step which could be used as the prolongation step and fine grid level corrections. So, the prolongation step or fine grid level correction. What you do that? It is the operator that is used to transfer correction from a coarser to a fine grid level. So, what you do? The error vector is i k k plus 1 error k plus 1 and where this guy is the interpolation matrix matrix from C to F. So, that is the interpolation ma matrix and finally, the phi k can be obtained as phi k plus E k. So, the correction is basically obtained from the coarser level grid to the final level. Now, how it is obtained? You can see the graphically this is your level from there you move here and then from there you move to this, then again you move back here, this will get you to this, from there you get, you get the corrections done and finally, so it goes like that. So, this is what the coarser grid level to finer grid level it is done. Now, the finally one thing which is called the, the traversal strategy, strategy and algebraic multigrid system. 
there are three different ways one can obtain this the first one which shows the is shows essentially the v cycle and the second one is called the w cycle third one is called the f or full multigrid cycle so one case is the v cycle which is shown in this particular and you can see this is my restriction step and this is how my prolongation step so at l0 to l1 l2 l3 l4 similarly these are l0 l2 l4 so what happens the usual practice is to perform few iteration uh, at restriction phase and then to inject the residual to a coarser grid until you reach some coarser level of convergence so for very steep system this v cycle is not at all uh, i mean not very good or not sufficient for accelerating the convergence of a uh, iterative solver so to get a good convergence you need more iterations at this v cycle so that's why the improved cycle is w cycle which actually if you look at it it applies multiple some sort of a v cycle of nested cores and fine grid level sweeps through some complexity because their complexity level is increasing as you move this and the f cycle is essentially this is a some variant of v plus w cycle so it's split into two different segment some split as per the v cycle some split is as per the w cycle so this has some very typical restriction that very um, uh, steep system this cannot be obtained very good convergence at uh, uh, the w v cycle cannot get you good convergence with less number of iteration there you prefer a w cycle and the f cycle or full multigrid is the combination of both these two so that talks about all the iterative solver and we'll stop here today thank you